Hey what's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm here with Amtrak to EMD and he commissioned yet another build. So right here is the Amtrak EMD E8A 4316. And this is in the special promotional A-Day livery for display in New York when Amtrak began service in May 1971. And this was also later used on the Broadway Limited between New York and Chicago. And yeah, it's a pretty cool livery, painted in black, never seen it before, but it is pretty nice looking, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so first we're going to grab our materials. Let's take out black concrete, nether brick stairs, nether brick slab, um, dark oak slab, and fence gate, and sign. Uh, lapis lazuli, um, what is this, black glass pane, dark oak button. All right, so let's build it right over here. So we're gonna make a two by three of this uh, black concrete. Then on top, we'll add in three blocks wide, nether brick slabs, the middle dark oak slab, and dark oak fence gates on the sides, and we're gonna open all of them up. Then inside of that, we'll add in black glass pane. Other side, same thing. And the back of this, we'll add in black concrete, nether brick stairs, upside down right behind it, and another nether brick stairs underneath. Same thing on the other side, just add black concrete, nether brick stairs, and then another one upside down here, and then a dark oak bun. All right. Then the side here, we'll add in four nether brick stairs, or slabs, so one, two, three, four, like that. And then other side, same thing. One, two, three, four, like that. Then we'll add in an upside down um, nether brick stairs. Do the same thing on the other side. And then four uh, nether brick slabs. Other side, same thing for these. All right. Then we'll add in uh, lapis lazuli right above this back part. We're gonna make it four blocks long like that, and then an upside down dark prismarine stairs, and then three lapis lazulis. And then on the back part of this, we're gonna add one of the bo bottom and one of the top. And then we'll make this arrow using uh, red, con red concrete like that. And then we'll make an arrow using black concrete. And then the bottom row of this, we're going to fill that in with lapis lazuli all the way up to this uh, front section right there. So just before the front, actually. Then we'll add in a dark oak button right here to the side. All right, so we're going to copy this thing and build it onto this side. So uh, let's see how we're going to do this, I guess, uh, inside of this lapis lazuli. Cross like that. Then the front, we're going to add three lapis lazuli. And then in the front, we're going to add three lapis lazuli on the outer edge. Upside down, dark prismarine stairs. And then four lapis lazuli. And make that arrow using red concrete. Add lapis lazuli down here, and then an arrow of black concrete. All right. So for the front part, we'll add in lapis lazuli right here in the middle, and another one dangling down here. Then we'll take out a uh, smooth quartz stairs, and we're gonna add a right side up here, and an upside down facing towards the the middle on the other side like that. And the bottom portion, we'll add in um, what is this exactly? Smooth quartz. Uh, I don't need to grab a block, so we'll take out smooth quartz, add one to the bottom section here, and smooth quartz stairs uh, right behind it. Let's add lapis lazuli inside here, and lapis lazuli right behind these stairs, so that they're all uh, blocked off. Then the side part here, we'll add in smooth quartz stairs, like that, and then we'll add in a dark oak sign right in front of that stairs. And the other side, we'll add in upside down, smooth quartz stairs, with a sign in front of that as well. Then the middle, uh, we'll add in um, black glass pane on either side of the middle like that. And then we'll take out black concrete, another brick stairs, another brick slab, 
and add in, um, let's say, four black concretes in the middle. One, two, three, four like that. And then we'll add one sticking up right at the back part. Then we'll make an L shape on both sides, black concrete. And then nether brick stairs in the front, nether brick slabs on the outer edge. While the middle, that's going to have uh, these two dark oak trap doors and then dark oak buns on the side of that. And for the window, we'll add in a gray glass block and gray glass pane right in the front of this. So gray glass block pane in the front of that like this. And then on the side of that, we'll add in dark oak trap door like that. Then we'll add in another gray glass block right behind it, like so. And then an upside down nether brick stairs right behind that. Then we'll add in black concrete inside of the windows. And add in black concrete two blocks tall right here and then three blocks long like that so it connects with the blue which we do need to add on this side as well. So just copy the same thing like like so. And this bottom portion, uh, we'll just fill this part in with black concrete. And inside part of this window, black concrete as well, all the way across. Basically everything's black concrete. And then we'll add in a black banner to the side of this trap door. I'm going to crouch to place it. And then on top, we're going to add in a row of five black carpets. Then behind that, we're going to add in a row of, or actually a C shape using nether brick slabs and a dark oak fence gate inside, black concrete underneath it. All right, so in the middle, there's going to be black um, glass pane right there. And right here to the side, there's going to be three blocks tall of this dark oak fence gate. And we're going to open all these up like so. In the middle, that's going to have a white glass pane inside of an item frame for the headlamp like that and then right here to the side we'll add in a dark oak bun right there and next to it we'll add in um, three blocks tall of this black glass pane and we'll do the same thing on the other side so dark oak bun and then three blocks tall of these glass panes like so then we'll add in on the top part, uh, what is this, five blocks long of black concrete right behind the uh, horn. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll add in a black carpet. Behind that, we'll add in two back-to-back -back, uh, nether brick stairs. And then another brick block. And then another brick stairs facing towards the front. So there's a gap there as well. And then there's going to be three blocks long of this um, nether brick slab. Nether brick stairs, nether brick block, and then two nether brick stairs. And they're um, going to be back to back. And then there will be five um, black concretes. And then we'll add in two nether brick slabs like this. And then another brick stairs facing towards the front. And then two nether brick slabs. All right, right here to the side, we'll add in nether brick stairs. Another nether brick stairs to the side of this. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll fill in the rest of this in with um, nether brick slabs like that. All right, and now for the rest of this roof area, we'll take out another brick slab, add one, two blocks here like that. Then we'll add in a bedrock block and black carpet all the way across the side here do the same thing on the other side so just add in a bedrock block here uh, two nether brick slabs and then black carpet all the way across right here so it looks like this and then we'll go um, right over to this back area then we'll go underneath here add in black concrete five blocks tall so one two three four and then five then we'll fill in all of this so it's three blocks wide 
Next, we'll add in a bedrock block right here to the sides. And then a um, dark oak trap door and close it up right behind it like that. Then the side, we'll add in three blocks tall, black concrete, both sides. And then we'll add in a dark oak button underneath the trap doors, both sides. Then we'll add in an upside down nether brick stairs right here. And then four blocks tall of nether brick uh, walls like that, both sides like this. In the middle, we'll add in um, dark oak fence gate right here, open that up. And then another brick slab. And that is going to be right at the bottom. Then we'll add in a dark oak slab right down here for the coupling. Uh, dark oak fence gates right next to it. We're going to get two blocks tall like that. Open them both up. Then the sides will add in upside down nether brick stairs and then nether brick slab. And then two dark oak fence gates and open them both up. Other side will do the same exact thing, like so. And then there will be three blocks of this nether brick slab right here in the middle, like so. And then right at this edge, we'll add uh, another three blocks of black concrete like this. I am lagging quite a bit, I don't know why. And then we'll add in the, this should say the numbers. So there's gonna be two smooth court stairs and then upside down one like that. The other side will just do be like the opposite. So I'm gonna have to place some blocks temporarily so I can place it right. So there's gonna be two like that and then upside down stairs. So this is what it should look like. So it looks like a weird W. All right, then we'll add in black concrete underneath it on top of it and then and the inside of it. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Alright, now we're going to connect um, this bottom area together with the other side. Black concrete. Other side, same thing. And then right here, this is going to be uh, three smooth court stairs. You could all face the front. And then there will be two birch buttons right there at the side. And add black concrete inside of it. And the other side, these three stairs are going to face towards the back. Black concrete inside of it. And then don't forget the birch buttons, two blocks. Like that. And then we'll add black concrete right on top of it. Like so. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna extend all the roof all the way across. So you see this bedrock block, uh, the black carpet, the nether brick slab, and same thing on the other side, that's gonna go all the way across. And we're also gonna fill in all of this with black concrete. All right, so after we filled all that all the way across, it looks like this. Then we'll go um, right behind that um, Amtrak logo, add in three, Block solve black glass pane like this, skip a block, add another pillar like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll go uh, right over here, fill this part in, black concrete, three blocks like that. And then we'll add in black concrete so it's eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Then we'll take out uh, black concrete add one right here to the side, uh, another brick wall, skip a block, add another one, skip a block, add another one, so there are three of them spaced apart, black concrete, fill in the gaps of it like that, as well as the back portion of it, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, so add in black concrete here, a wall, three of them, and then black concrete for the rest, like this. And then we'll add in another brick slab. So that's going to be uh, three blocks wide right here. And then we'll add in this upside down uh, nether brick stairs on the outer edges and a slab in the middle. And then we'll add in slabs all the way across the bottom part. And then wither skeleton skull right there at the side with a dark oak fence gate. Open that up. 
the other side, we'll do the same exact thing. Then we'll go to the back part, and we'll add in um, black concrete, eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three blocks wide of nether brick slabs, nether brick slab in the middle, and then nether brick stairs upside down right here on the sides, and place the wrong block. That's going to be a stairs. Slabs across the middle, three blocks, wither skull and skull with a dark oak fence gate, open that up. Other side, do the same thing. Then go back here, add in black concrete, nether brick uh, walls, three of them spaced apart, black concrete for the rest. And I am just laying down the foundation for where we're going to build the bogey. So add one here and then three walls, black concrete for the rest. Alright, so now we're going to fill in the fuel tank for this. So that's going to be black concrete, three blocks wide here. Same thing on the other side. And I'm going to go across all the way across the side of it like that. Then we'll add in... Um, nether brick stairs right it's gonna be right where these two pillars are like the doorway like that and then nether brick slabs for the rest all the way across and nether brick slabs underneath that go to the other side and then we'll add in that stairs are actually black concrete first inside part of this it's a little hard to see apologize for that and then the stairs lines up with this then slabs all the way across and then we'll fill in right here and then you'll fill in the inside part of this as well like if you <laughs> if you look underneath the locomotive there's like a giant hole so maybe you want to fill this in all right so after that's been filled in we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right here to the side of this open that up and we'll do the same thing on the other side right where this doorway is all right, so now uh, what we're going to do is we are going to add in a dark oak bun. It's going to be like two blocks away from this on the top layer. So right there, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just skip two blocks and add one right on the top layer. And um, let me see if there's anything else. So let's actually make the bogey. Usually I just have the bogey in the start of the video, but this time I'm making it at the end. So we'll take out... Uh, what is this? Gray terracotta hopper, and let's take a, another brick block, and then another brick stairs. We'll need that as well. A dark oak sign. So first off, uh, we're gonna make the wheel. So that's going to be right over here, diagonal to this um, wall, I guess. So I'm adding a pair of wheels like this. We we'll also need a dark oak stairs, and then we're gonna add that upside down like that uh, another brick block in between this and then we'll um, skip a block and do the same thing so add in the wheels add in the stairs and another brick block between skip a block and do the same thing over here adding our stairs with the another brick block in the space between then we will add in uh, another brick stairs in between the wheels like that do the same thing for all of them and you may have to break some of these tracks just to access it then we'll add in hoppers sides of the wheels like so and we will add in a dark oak um, fence gate in between so they're going to face towards uh, this nether brick block do the same thing on this one go on the other side add in hoppers sides of those wheels as well And then we will add in another brick stairs um, upside down right here. So this is going to face the other stairs like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak uh, fence gate. And this is going to be all across the side of this in between the hoppers and after the hoppers. Like that. And we're going to open up towards the hoppers for all of them. Alright, looks like this, and we'll add in nether brick slabs right above the hoppers. And do the same thing on the other side. So then, that's going to be nether brick stairs facing towards stairs. 
And then dark oak fence gates right across the side of this. And open them up all the way to face the hoppers. Another brick slab right above the hoppers. And we'll need a daylight detector right on the side of this. And then we'll add in a dark oak sign right above this slab on the ends. Other side, same exact thing, daylight detectors. And we're going to add the signs right on top of the slab. Looks like this so far. Alright, next we're to go to the back and we'll add in the same exact bogey just facing the other direction. So I'm going to give you like a head start here. So it lines up with this black concrete, add in a pair of wheels like that. And at the stairs, skip a block, add in a pair of wheels. Stairs like that, skip a block, a pair of wheels. Stairs like that. And basically what we're going to do, you're going to do the same exact thing the other direction. And I don't think I need to show you that since you already have the first part. But just in case, this is what it should look like. You can uh, pause the screen and just copy that if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build Amtrak EMD E8A 4316 in the special promotional A-Day livery. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissioning this build, making this video possible. And if you are interested in commissioning build, you can uh, commission it through my live stream. I do it every Saturday on my main channel uh, in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but anyways guys do enjoy this video remember hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already leave a comment and i will see you guys next time bye